welcome back to the Very Short Introductions podcast. From public health to Buddhist ethics, soft matter to classics and art history to globalisation, we'll showcase a concise and original introduction to a wide range of subjects, wherever your curiosity may take you. So here is today's Very Short Introduction. My name is Charlotte Gordon. I'm a writer and a professor at Endicott College in Beverly, Massachusetts. The topic of my VSI is Mary Shelley, the author of Frankenstein, but also the author of many other important books, essays, and short stories. The topic of my VSI has fascinated me for a long time. It's the story of Mary Shelley, who wrote Frankenstein. It's the story of her life, but it's also an overview of her literary achievements and her pioneering work as a woman writer in an era when women were not supposed to be intellectuals or writers. I first became interested in this subject when I discovered that Mary Shelley was the daughter of Mary Wollstonecraft, who wrote A Vindication of the Rights of Woman. I am obviously an educated person, but I never learned this in school. In fact, I never studied Mary Wollstonecraft in school. And I thought that's so interesting that a radical feminist, I mean, we can't really say feminist for someone who's alive in the 1700s, but for someone who had such radical ideas to be the mother of Mary Shelley, who herself was such a radical, really struck me as interesting. And I wanted to find out how much influence Mary Wollstonecraft had on Mary Shelley. So imagine my surprise when I found out that Mary Wollstonecraft died 10 days after giving birth to Mary Shelley. And I thought, how could Mary Wollstonecraft, who died, have an influence on her daughter? And then I thought, well, wait a second. Both of these dead women are having an influence on me. How much more of an influence would they have on me if one of them was my mom? And that, in fact, is what happened. Mary Shelley learned how to read on her mother's gravestone. She read all of her mother's books. And by the time she was 16, she had dedicated herself to the ideals of Mary Wollstonecraft, which were that a woman had a right to direct her own life and that a woman had a right to her own education and that a woman had a right to earn her own living. Mary Shelley is often known as the author of Frankenstein, but she was so much more than that. But let's just start with Frankenstein. A lot of students are introduced to Frankenstein as the first science fiction novel. And that's true, but it really doesn't take the whole story into account. If you remember that Mary Shelley is the daughter of Mary Wollstonecraft, then that shines a whole new light on the novel. So as opposed to simply being a novel about the mysteries of science and invention, It becomes a kind of dystopian fable about what the world will look like when there aren't strong women in it. And in the world that Mary Shelley paints, it's a very bleak picture. It's a world where men's unbridled ambitions rule, where there's violence. It's a terrible situation. And so although she doesn't say this directly, the novel should also be read as a kind of morality tale about what happens when you strip women of their rights and of their agency. Mary Shelley didn't just write Frankenstein. She wrote many other books, stories, and essays and earned her living through her writing. She was also a single mom as her husband, Percy Shelley, died when he was quite young and she was quite young. She had scandalized London by running away with Percy when she was only a teenager, and he was already married. And so English society exiled her and exiled Percy when they tried to live in London society. No one would speak to them. No one would loan them money, which was terrible because they had no money. And so she learned, like her mother, who had also been an outcast, how to exist on her own as an independent thinker and an independent writer. She wrote Frankenstein, as I think probably many of you know, before she was 20. It was published when she was 20. But she spent the rest of her life as a writer. She learned Greek. She kept a copious reading list. She wrote a 
terrifying novel, which interestingly speaks to us today because it's about a pandemic. It's called The Last Man, and it's set actually in this century, and it follows the story of the last surviving man when all of the human race has been wiped out by a pandemic. And it's fascinating, and it seems like it was written yesterday. So I think that this VSI is really trying to help readers understand that Mary Shelley isn't just the writer of Frankenstein. She was a pioneering woman in her own life and a pioneering writer whose other books are worth attention as well. One of the things that I think most people don't know about Mary Shelley is her place in history and the role that she plays in the development of ideas about women. If you can put her in the context of Mary Wollstonecraft's ideas that she expressed in a vindication of the rights of women, you'll read her work in an entirely different way. And you can see that she's working very hard to continue her mother's philosophy to give women rights. So I hope that people will read this book and get a deeper and more complicated understanding of Mary Shelley. Thank you for listening to the Very Short Introductions podcast. You can subscribe to our podcast on your favourite podcast app to receive new episodes directly to your feed. All of our episodes, new and old, can also be found on SoundCloud and YouTube at OUP Academic. Music